Hello again. Welcome back to Best You Watches. I'm going to do this one a bit different. I'm going to do it a bit more quick fire so you don't all just go halfway through because it's boring. We've got about 10 watches which I've cherry picked and I hope you like them. So, first off, we've got the Breitling Top Time Deus X Machina Edition. Now, this one is retail at $6,250 and it's up for $5,000 with starting bid of £3,500. I doubt this will sell for £3,500. It will end before this video is uploaded, but definitely have a gander, full box and papers and printed receipt. Basically brand new. Unfortunately, you get that box, which is a bit of a downer, but have a gander. Rolex Explorer 2 16570. Now this is in pretty decent condition and it's a phenomenal price to be honest with you. Crystal and Cyclops window look pretty unmarked. Bezel has got some marks, but nothing too major. Full box and papers and authenticity. Case back is pretty immaculate. Overall, very good condition. Have a gander. Omega Speedmaster Reduce. Now, when I bought one of these, I didn't really like the size. I felt it's a bit too small for me. But 39mm, that might fit quite nicely on your wrist. Full box and papers, which is quite rare with these Speedmaster Reduce at the moment. So, definitely good one to go for. Condition, not too bad. The crystal has got quite a few scuffs but it is plastic so you're going to expect that it does mention in the description there's a there's an issue with the bottom chronograph pusher but i would definitely ask some more information about this in a few more pictures so definitely have a gander if you want to service it tudor black bay with a burgundy dial now these came out last year and they're on the rubber band which i find phenomenal on the black bays and look at that lovely clasp phenomenal full box and papers they do show the serial number that might put some people off but I don't think it's too major. Very good condition overall. There is that one blemish on the clasp, but nothing too major. Case, on the other hand, is alright, but this is out of focus, which isn't very good. 2.6, very good price. Definitely have a gander. Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch. Now, this is the white one, the absolutely overpriced model. It's up for £7,599, and apparently it's below retail. I think they are so overpriced, it is untrue. But it's sexy either way. It's brand new with tags, obviously, so there's no damage on it at all. Look at that exhibition case back. Whoa. I don't know about the availability of them, to be fair. I don't know if it'll be too difficult to buy one in retail, but if you want one now and for a bit of discount, definitely have a gander. Brylin Colt A73350. Now, I've got the A73380, which is a bit bigger than this one. But if you're looking for a smaller case size, this is definitely a good one to go for. This is a blue daub for the ivory, but the blue is quite nice still. It's got full box and papers, which is quite rare on the Colts. So a good one to go for. You've even got the bezel protector. Definitely have a gander. Phenomenal. Wow. Tag Hoyer Monaco. Now this is the Steve McQueen with the crown on the left side of the case. I've tried one of these on in person and it is really nice. The blue is a sensational color on this. Got a picture in the whip. Lovely. Exhibition case back with a caliber 11 inside. Case looks pretty unmarked to be fair. It looks like it's been looked after quite well. It's a 2020 model, but it was serviced three years after its purchase, which is quite quick to be fair. I don't know if there's something iffy with that. There might have been a problem with it, but it would have been sorted out. So definitely have a gander. Probably another time of world. It's 46 millimeter, so if you have 20 inch wrists, this will fit quite snug. This is the A243. 22 now this is a very good price at 2299 but the navi timers have come down in price quite a bit to be fair i had a montbrion which was worth about three five said to be but i sold that for about two two so take the values of the navi timers with a grain of salt this is a very good price though condition wise it's all right you've just got the odd scratch here and there no box of papers so that's basically reflecting the price but definitely have a gander now this is ridiculously cheap this is the tudor black bay it's the one with a blue bezel it's the one that's originally on the fabric strap but they've put it on a vanguard strap a lot of people get these rubber straps from vanguard you're pretty safe with the quality overall conditions not too bad you have got a scratch on the bezel there but obviously that's reflected in the price at 1750 full box and papers and purchase receipt a really really good one to go for if you're willing to go to wolverhampton have a gander. Taikoya Carrera glass box. Now, this is ridiculously cheap. It's retail. It's £5,900. I love this design because the date window is at the 12 o'clock position. They changed that because when the chronographs reset, it covers the date window. And that's why it's on the side and the bottom. I like how they bought this back for the glass box. And I think it looks really nice, even though it's not really that functional, to be honest. Really good condition overall from the pictures. I would ask for a couple more pictures, just so the case back and the sides of the case and the clasp at 4.5, great price. Offer 4.3, phenomenal. Have a gander. 